Hi all, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this doorstop bunny which is perfect for popping open your doors and is just in time for Easter. So to do this, the main items you will need are one sock. Please be warned that you will end up cutting the sock, so please don't use your favourite pair. Three elastic bands. Two to three cups of uncooked rice. The amount of rice you will need will depend on the size of your sock, so please also have some extra. A black marker. It doesn't actually matter what type of marker you use, and if you want, you could even opt for a different colour a pair of scissors if you're a child please ask an adult to help you with anything cutting related because the scissors are going to have to be quite sharp and then some optional decorative items you can include are some heart-shaped gems some pretty ribbon and a small bell so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your sock and fill it about halfway up the heel with rice so it should look something like this now we need to tie an elastic band around the top of the sock to stop the rice from falling out and this elastic band is going to go at the very top of the head so to work out where we're going to put the elastic band uh, we're going to squeeze about a quarter of the rice upwards just with our hands just to sort of approximate whereabouts the head is going to end my head ends at about here so that's where I'm going to put my elastic band. So it should look something like this. Now the next elastic band we're going to tie is the one around the neck. And feel free to pause the video at this point if you need time to catch up. So this is what it should look like now. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do the tail, which has to be in line with the ears. So to do the tail, all you do is you take your elastic band and you try and gather up as much material at the back as you want. Um, and you sort of have to tie the elastic band around it. When you do this first, the tail might be quite small, so you can do it a couple of times until you get the size that you want. But this is all you have to do and then you've got the tail. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to form the ears. Now to form the ears, you just lie on its side and what you're gonna do first is cut a line straight down the middle of the sock so that it splits it into two parts. And it should look something like this. So these would be your two separate ears and they would go across like this if you would prefer for the outside of the sock to be facing outwards then what you can do is you can twist the ears around like this and rotate the elastic band so that it holds it in place like that and then all that's left to do is to trim down the ends of the ears so round them off like this and if you would prefer that the ears were a little bit thinner you can cut down the sides too so now that we've got the main body of the bunny complete all that's left to do is the face and the finishing touches now the best part about using rice is that you can sort of mold it into whatever shape you like. So if you think the bunny is not symmetrical enough or you would like the face to be a little bit more pointed, then you can just push the rice around until you get the shape that you want. Now, the way I did the face is I started by taking my heart-shaped gem and sticking it in the middle of the face about here for the nose and then I drew the mouth like this
and like this. And then I just drew two little dots for the eyes about here and about here. And then that was my bunny's face complete. So now all that's left to do is the bow. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on how I tie the bow. I have started by looping the ribbon once around the neck of the body and I have attached the bow to one end of the piece of ribbon. From there I'm going to tie the ribbon just once like this, not too tightly because I want you to still be able to see the bow and I'm going to push the bow to one end of the knot like this. And just to keep the bell in place, I'm going to take the end that doesn't have the knot on it and just loop it through once. So this will keep the bell in place when I go to tie the bow. So I'm just going to tie a traditional bow like this. Put it through quite tight like that. And then your bunny is completed. You can adjust the knot, make it smaller, make it larger. Um, you can also cut the ends down if you like, but that is basically your bunny completed. So I hope you all really liked this tutorial um, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.